Hi guys, Phoenix1278 here. Hellion has just given its docking mechanism an overhaul, so let's quickly check it out. The first thing you'll notice is the circle in the right hand corner of the screen. That is your targeting reticle. If you've seen the FTL drive then you know exactly how it works. Just get that red diamond into the center and you'll be facing your target. Now starting from the top to the bottom, the top right hand quarter of the circle where the red line is, is where you push the E button to spin the module clockwise and the top left hand quarter is where you push the Q button to spin the module anti-clockwise. The vertical line in the middle at the top is your ascent which is the space bar and that makes you go up. And the vertical bar at the bottom is for control or the C key and that is your descent which makes you go down. The line in the middle is for your lateral movement, so if you push the A key you'll go left and if you push the D key you'll go right. Then right down the bottom is your distance to target which is the big green bar and your forward speed. If it's a positive number you're going forward and if it's a negative number you're going backwards. And as you can see here, all the lines move depending on what I'm doing as I'm steering the module towards the docking station. But don't actually fly into the other module like I did, because that just complicates matters. And that's the new overhaul docking system for Hellion. And I personally think they've done a really good job with this. It makes life a hell of a lot easier when you're trying to connect two parts together. And as an added bonus, you can finally depressurize the cargo bay, which is going to make mining so much easier. Because I normally go out the top hatch because it just takes so long to repressurize it by using the normal life support systems. Now, you can't depressurize it by the panel by the door, but you can depressurize it by the panel by the actual cargo bay door at the end of the cargo hold. It does take a little bit longer to depressurize and repressurize, but it's a much larger room, so I can deal with that. So there you have it, a brand new docking system and a cargo bay that's actually usable for change. So, I hope you enjoy yourself out there in space, mine away to your heart's content. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because more content will be coming soon. And I'll see you in the next video.